Hey guys, and welcome to my tome guide. In this guide, I will be showing you how to obtain all tomes and legendary tomes, as well as go over a calculator I created for you guys that will let you know how much flux you will receive for each tome's proc. Starting out, we have the runecrafting tomes. These include the Shapestone Survey, Formicite Formula, Infinia Miner's Almanac, Mycological Manual, Cybernetics Catalog, Gloom Grimoire, and Flux Folio. You can craft these from a runecrafting bench, and you must be runecrafting level 200 or above. If you need help leveling runecrafting, make sure to check out my guide on the screen right now. The next two tomes you can obtain are located in the first tab of the Shadowy Market. You can find the Shadow Market after each floor of a Shadow Tower. These include the Eye Encyclopedia and the Tentacle Track, but remember, they are located in the first tab and should not be confused with the legendary variants that will come later on in the guide. You can craft both of these tomes for one Heart of Darkness, each which you can obtain from opening Shadow Caches, also located in the first tab of the Shadowy Market. The last common tome is the Rich Fertilizer Factuary. You could purchase this in the Flower Power Pack which can show up under the Deals tab of the store. However, I would suggest purchasing from the Player Market as it can also appear in the Chaos Chest Rotation. Next up are the Legendary Tomes. Starting out are the Store Tomes. These include Big Bomb, Chaos Codex, Insta Grower Informational, Dragon Coin Digest, and Empowered Gem Box Tomes. These can all be purchased with credits, as well as the Big Bomb, Chaos Codex, and Insta Grower Tomes can appear in the Chaos Chest Rotation if you would like to purchase them with Flux. The Dragon Coin Digest can also be purchased for 25,000 cubits. Next are the Legendary Variants of the Shadowy Market Tomes. You can find these at the Shadowy Market once again, however the Legendary Variants are located in the last tab for one Lunar Soul each, which you can obtain by defeating Dart of the Moon. Next is the Writings of Wonder. This tome can be obtained by opening Troves of Wonder, which can be purchased from the Merchant of Marvels found on the Gold Ships in the Drowned Worlds, which can be entered starting at U3. And finally is the Mastery Pinata Manuscript, which can be obtained at Mastery Rank 280. Once again, if you need help with leveling Mastery, you can click the video on the screen now for my Mastery Guide. Now I will be going over the calculator that I have created you guys to show you guys the flux value that you will be receiving each time a tome procs. You can find this in the description below and it will be in the fourth tab of the spreadsheet. You can also use the other tabs if you want. These are going to be for future videos uh, so you can get a head start if you so desire. However, for this video we're doing tomes. So for this, all you need to do if you want to edit the values is you want to go to file and either make a copy import or download as whichever it gives you the permission to do and then once you save it to your own google docs you can edit the values yourself so let's say shapestone right now is one to four uh, all you need to do is type that in and then as you can see shapestone survey now changed from 250 per proc to 400 per proc and the same thing for all other tomes um, i did leave out the dragon coin D digest and empower gym box because those two uh, do not give you a specific flux value however all the others are the same and that is it. Once again, you can find this in the description below. If you guys enjoyed the guide, give the video a like, and I will see you guys next time.